like 2 p.m. and I'm finally getting my day started and like washing my face. I have been up since like eight. I read a quote recently that was like, it's never too late to get your day started. And that has honestly made a big difference for me, like actually doing my morning routine because normally I'd be like, it's way too late. Like I just didn't do it today, but I am on a streak now of washing my face every morning and I want to keep it up. And even though it's 2 p.m., I'm still getting it done. I am doing like the most basic skincare, but that's fine. You know, it's better than nothing. But today is a Saturday. So I had a really, really stressful work week and I knew that I was kind of needing to take some time to relax and recharge and take some time for myself basically. So what have I done so far today? Not really much. I called my family, like I FaceTimed with my family. So I have been relatively social. Today is kind of gross. It's starting to clear up, but it was rainy this morning after like storms all day yesterday. And today it's just like overcast and cloudy. So normally for like a relaxing summer day, I would just spend it in the pool, but I haven't quite been out there yet because the weather has been gross. But now that it's actually like, it's overcast, but it's kind of bright. I think I might go out in the pool now, but I got my face washed and I'm very proud of that. I've always struggled with giving myself breaks, honestly. Like it's funny to me because I will advocate for like taking breaks and everything all the time but i don't actually like give myself that same grace i am feeling so guilty today for not doing anything but i shouldn't feel guilty because i have just been working so much this week and things have been so busy so i deserve this time to myself but i know that there are also like a lot of things that i could be doing so it's just making me feel really bad for not really doing anything today and not having a plan for the day but like there's nothing wrong with that it is so important to be taking those breaks i just need to try and like listen to my own advice and remember that anyways i'm just trying to pick out a bathing suit now to go and hang out in the pool because I think that that will be fun. I think that might recharge me and maybe make me want to do something with my day because I just have not felt like doing anything. graphic tees like this lately but usually I'll make an effort to like not make an effort that's the wrong word but I'll wear biker shorts on the bottom so then it's still kind of like a look it's not really but like I feel like that's a little bit more acceptable but today I have sweatshorts on <laughs> I love nectarines they are like my favorite fruit but sometimes they cut really nicely other times they don't but oh well, it's still gonna be delicious. I cut them because I had a bad experience biting into one once and I won't tell you about it because it will maybe ruin them for you. I couldn't eat any more that year, but they're my favorite. I also made myself a little lemonade. It's just water with like lemonade flavoring in it. But during the summer, love this. To be honest, I spent like 10 minutes maybe in the pool and then I was like, no. I don't feel like it. It's not the warmest out today and there's a breeze, so it just didn't really feel nice. So then I was like, it seems like good weather to go for a bike ride, but I don't really feel like that either. Today, I just kind of feel like doing nothing and I'm having the hardest time allowing myself to do that. I think part of it might be because usually when I let myself just not do anything and not have a to-do list, that's when I have been feeling my worst, but in this case, it's because like I'm needing a break. Work has just been so busy and it's like 2.30 and I'm just kind of getting started for the day because honestly, I have just been laying here and doing nothing. And I was like, I should try and do something. I should try and like go for a bike ride, like do something fun. But the bottom line is that I don't even want to do that right now. And that's okay. It doesn't mean that I'm like, 
falling back into a depression or anything. It just means that I am tired and I need a day to have a break because I haven't really had that this week. Like this week after work, it was also really busy with other things. So I just haven't had the chance lately to breathe and relax as much as I'm needing. So it kind of makes sense that like my body is like, no, thank you. Especially because today is so overcast and gloomy. I think it's just like, I wanna do nothing, but not in the way that I usually do during the summer. Like usually during the summer when I wanna do nothing, it's because it's so sunny and beautiful out that I just want to do things that I can do outside. But now I'm just like, I don't really wanna do anything at all. And I'm trying to let myself do that for a day and not feel guilty about it. I set myself a to-do list every day because that's what helps me. I oftentimes, like I'm trying to find the right balance of the number of things on my to-do list, but lately that has been a bit of a struggle. So oftentimes I don't get to everything, but if I like finish something throughout the day that wasn't on my to-do list, I will write it down in my to-do list so then I can see what I did actually end up accomplishing. I'm trying to kind of implement these no to-do list days. So then I have days where I have a little bit more freedom to just relax because I know that having this free time for myself that is unstructured is something that is beneficial in the end. But I find that when things are busy and I know that there are other things that I could be doing and maybe should be doing, I feel guilty about it. I'm definitely a firm believer that you don't have to be productive all the time. And I was someone who like found myself trying to be productive every waking hour and my waking hours were many because I wasn't really getting enough sleep. But lately I've realized how beneficial that free unstructured time is for everything. Like I woke up today not really feeling great and not mentally. I just, my stomach kind of was hurting. I don't know if that's like normal for people, but for me, sometimes I wake up and my stomach hurts. It's nothing like severe, but it's kind of like, oh, just doesn't feel quite right. So then I'll kind of take it easy. And I think starting the day with that, then I knew it was a Saturday and I was so burnt out from the week that I was just like, we're just going to continue to take it easy and not get up and wash my face until two. And that is okay. Like I am trying to be fine with that. But I know that the house could use a cleaning, but I also know that if I do it right now, I am going to be forcing myself to do it. And it's just going to like exacerbate the problem because I won't have energy for other things. So my point with this is, I didn't even brush my hair really. I just put it up in a clip. I'm just wearing like my sweat shorts that are super ugly and a t-shirt and I am putting minimal effort into this day. I'm going to let myself, if what I wanna do all day is just sit here, that's great. Like then I'm just going to sit here. The sun is starting to come out. So maybe there will be a bike ride in my future. Maybe I'll go back and relax in the pool. But I know that my focus this weekend is going to be on relaxing and recharging. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to try and make an effort to like tidy everything up. But today is going to be kind of one of those bare minimum kind of days where I'm doing the bare minimum that I need to do in order to survive. And that is about it because I feel like that is what I am needing right now. So I'm going to read a little bit more of my book for an audiobook I'm listening to From the Jump by Lacey Walden. I just started that today and because I've mostly just been sitting here and listening to an audiobook, I am pretty far through it. I'm probably about halfway. And then I'm also physically reading Summer Reading by Jen McKinley. And this has been kind of my like poolside read. So it is getting a little bit uh, messed up. Like it's not going to stay dry if I take it in the pool, but that's fine. So I'm like 150 or so pages into this one, but tomorrow it's supposed to be super sunny. So I will probably be spending like the whole day out by the pool. But today I'm going to spend my day inside. I might even have a nap right now, honestly, because I am just feeling really tired and drained and I am doing whatever I want to today, whatever my mood calls for. And that's fine. I keep repeating it because I'm trying not to feel guilty, but I can't help but feel guilty, but I'm not guilty. I have nothing to feel guilty about. I'm not missing out on any obligations. Like I will get to things when I get to them. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. I got my book wet somehow, but like, I don't know how, because it was inside when it happened. But like the front half, I do hate when books get wet because they do that crinkly thing and it's really annoying, but whatever. 
we'll just deal with it. But the sun is coming out, finally, as you can see. So I might go in the pool. I just kind of have my feet dipped in right now, but I think I'm probably going to go in. I did have a nap just for a little bit. I didn't really like fall asleep, but sometimes just like laying there makes me feel a little bit better. But other than that, I honestly have not done anything other than nap. I did try to make dinner, but then the chicken that I took out is not defrosted, which is quite unfortunate. So I think that I might order something. And by something, I mean this like Greek rice bowl that I've gotten I think in two other videos now. I don't know if you will have seen those videos by now, but it is really good and I like it a lot. So I'll figure that out, but honestly having my feet in the pool now is just making me want to go in. So I'm probably going to do that. was delicious i did end up ordering that like chicken rice bowl super super good but obviously now i'm back in the pool i did like i played with the dogs for a while after dinner and now they're just in their usual spot when i'm in the pool so they're just hanging out but i'm going to do a little bit more reading and i'm kind of hoping that i can maybe take a look at my schedule and start planning for the week ahead because I know that tomorrow I really want to pretty much spend the whole day outside and have just like the ideal summer day because it's supposed to be so sunny and I want to just enjoy that. So maybe I can do a little bit tonight if I feel like it though. But I feel like I kind of feel like it. I don't know. We're going with the flow. I'm learning how to do that. <laughs> much nicer out and it's so funny like when I came outside it seemed like all of my neighbors came outside at the same time because everyone is like out most people here have a pool because oddly I find it more common to have pools here than it was like back home which just makes sense to me because the pool season is so much shorter here because it's like not as hot I don't know it's weird but anyways it just seems like everyone has been waiting for the rain to stop to come outside and like actually enjoy a nice summer day so I'm really looking forward to doing that and just kind of floating around the pool honestly I don't know why I felt like so guilty for kind of taking time to relax today because I knew that was kind of my plan going into the day but I think it's because I was expecting to kind of like want to do something like want to go for a bike ride want to I don't know do whatever but I literally just did not feel like doing anything but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I should have brought out sunglasses because it's really sunny, but whatever. I'm going to enjoy a little bit of a swim because it's not nearly as cool now. It's still pretty windy, but I think it will still be a nice little float around the pool. I'm reading my book. Good morning. It's actually the next day. I am wearing the same hoodie that I was wearing for the bulk of the day yesterday, but I just kind of like take out a hoodie and then I basically wear it until it's dirty. And then I switch to another hoodie. But anyways, I didn't end up doing much else last night. I tidied up a little bit. I actually folded some laundry, which I'm super happy with because that has been on my to-do list for a very, very, very long time. And I did actually end up finishing my book. So I was in the pool for a while and ended up finishing this. And I did like it. It kind of got to be corny and then there was like a lot of plot lines going on that were kind of hard to keep track of and I didn't feel like they were all necessary but it was like a really sweet and cute summer read which was exactly what I was expecting obviously. So I am going to close out this vlog though because I'm actually going to be filming another vlog today which is going to be like just the ideal summer day because it is so sunny out there's not a cloud in the sky and I want to once again, kind of take a day for myself to just like lay in the pool and read. I need to pick a new book to read though, but I'm just going to be doing like a bunch of fun summer things. I'm not sure if you will see this video for first or that video first. I think it might be the other one first because I want to obviously post that one during the summer. But honestly, I've just kind of been like 
daily vlogging <laughs> when my boyfriend is working i just vlog that day and i just vlog whatever i feel like and i have quite been enjoying that honestly but i am excited to have a nice summer day today it is going to be another day of like taking a break and i still am feeling guilty for it like i still I'm having a hard time with being like it's okay to relax and it's okay to take a break even though that's something that I tell myself over and over again so I would love to know if you have any tips on like how to kind of get yourself to believe it because it seems to be I keep saying it I keep like trying to listen to my own advice and realize that it's totally fine even though there are a lot of things that I could do it's fine and it's necessary to take a like couple of days to rest but even so as much as i'm saying that i feel like i haven't really been able to fully relax as much as i would like to because every time i try to kind of relax i am feeling guilty and i'm feeling like oh i could be putting away the laundry oh i could be cleaning up these things that i've been procrastinating on for a really long time which i know i can do but i also know that if i do them now i'll feel burnt out so i don't know i'm kind of struggling with that but today I think because like I will be able to just relax in the pool that will kind of help me to relax even more because honestly when I'm floating on those floaties I'm untouchable like I just get into the zone with the sun shining down on me that I'm like I can't even really feel guilty because I'm just having such a great time so it's supposed to be warmer today it's not supposed to be so windy so i think it's going to be the perfect day to film that like lovely summer vlog and it's just going to be a good time so stay tuned for that if it hasn't come out if it has i will like have it linked in a card or whatever but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching i know i've been talking about how i can't take my own advice but i hope that you realize for yourself that it really is okay to take a break even though it's something that i'm struggling to believe it truly is something that's necessary and even though I'm struggling to believe it it's not that I don't know it's true because I know it's true it's just the feelings of guilt with like this kind of culture of toxic productivity it's hard to keep those at bay if that makes sense but please take a break if you are needing it you deserve it and you deserve to like enjoy every day you don't have to fill every single day and every single second and every single waking hour with work i promise you can just relax and read a book or do whatever lights you up so thank you once again so much for watching and i will see you guys in another video very soon bye, bye.